Welcome back my friends to this uh, Stellaris guide, we're playing as the Commonwealth of Man and we have a lot of things to be doing because most likely during this episode we are going to be uh, putting on some claims, we're building up that uh, additional station over here which is going to be our dedicated shipyard. Why is going, this going to be our shipyard? Because it is going to be very close to the front lines. We want to have a station close to the front lines which will support us by constructing ships. If we lose them we want to replace them. Now there is a bit of an upgrade going and it's uh, let's take a quick look. It's probably due to the uh, basic combat roles. Now let's take a quick look on what else is there. Now if you see this one. Planetary FTL inhibitors, star base FTL inhibitors. You want to get this. Uh, the reason for it is simple. At the moment, your stations are nothing more than what I consider to be a uh, irregular planet. It holds no other value. Now, why would I say that? Well, actually that is um, quite simple. Because at the moment, these fleets can just pass through these systems without having to worry about anything. They do not need to attack your stations if they do it, it is great it is great but they don't have to they can just sneak by by getting this they will have to attack your station they cannot pass it's like Gandalf you know but indifferently it's in space so we definitely want that let's uh, slow down because there's a few things that I want to be working on so we have um, a new planet we're going to be setting it up as a colony as well, because I want that growth speed. Eventually we'll change that. We'll most likely start to focus this planet towards um, a refinery. So that would be, uh, where you go, in, in here. The there, there, will be more, there will be more options. And uh, it's going to be uh, research as well. Um, to do that we will need to generate a lot more consumer goods. It seems like you'll have a lot of buildings that will generate consumer goods or they will generate alloys for you. But we haven't gotten to the part where you'll have these buildings upgraded. So your alloy building will double as soon as you'll upgrade it. And it's not only one upgrade but you'll have like two i'm um, maybe even three i can't remember just right now but we'll get that to that point so it definitely definitely interesting let's make sure we got all of this on eventually i want to automate all of my planets and apart from my capital of course because i you'll have to manage that one yourself uh, this will just unlock a few districts that once you let the ai handle your planets they will do that for you. Uh, for now, um, we do want to make sure that we get some more uh, generators. And you don't have to focus everything you have on, uh, on, on, on researching that. But we do want to make sure that we get at least uh, some generators unlocked. So that's going to be this one. We need a thousand for that. And it will take them uh, a f escape. 270 days which is not too bad uh, let's make sure that we get to that point let's sell a thousand let's go to this uh, new planet uh, new planet thank you um, and get the generators done there you go <coughs> military fleet is uh, ready and able to upgrade let's do that uh, fleet command limit is on its way 14 months and that will go Oh boy, um, where is this? Oh, that's just amazing. We got the Grand Dragon, and this is uh, <laughs> uh, Leviathan. Uh, a snarling, hissing fiend has appeared out of the void. With one swipe, the giant talons see snatched the archaeological shuttle carrying the excavation team. And the uh, Rubicus back to the NSC Pathfinder. Beneath it opens a prayer Rubicus. Okay, what will it do? This translating? 
or engaging. Let's translate, but this is um, uh, the rats seeking, squeaking, um, and their bones went crushing, crushing. Wow, that is... Um, please don't hurt us. And recalls is disgusting. Um, okay, so... I don't think we can do anything else with this. Um... No, the Rubicon, the Sean, track on the map. So we need to attack the uh, this Leviathan before we can do anything. Now, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It is, as you can see, not hostile towards us, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's absolutely great. Until right now. <laughs> ah! Damn you. Well, we just lost a, uh, a science ship. I don't like that. Uh, it wasn't hostile, and now it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, this is the uh, the S Grand name. Yeah, okay, the name is a bit wonky, though. Uh, but it, 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 it just one shot at everything. This, uh, it is that we already have this planet. I don't think it will attack the planet. Uh, other than that, there's nothing we can do in this system. And we don't have to worry about it. This, uh, oh, did we lose that? Oh, what will happen with you? The uh, the planet icon has disappeared from here. Yeah, that is kind of... Uh, that's weird. Oh, well, what can we do? We are... Um, Going to finish this display. At least it's in this list. Never happens to me before. It's it's quite weird. I think it was supposed to start this before we colonized. Oh well. What can you do, huh? Nothing. Nothing. Let's go build that star base over here. You. We have enough alloys, so let's go and build the star base over here. That means that we'll have one more to go. We're almost at our naval cap. And we're almost at our command limit. We do want to change that. We want to increase this anchoring. Uh, most likely on also on here. Are you done? Yes, you are. Now we are going to make this our dedicated shipyard. And we will. This science ship is not doing anything. Is there anything we can have you do? Well, there is going to be this archaeological site. So let's start moving you over there. As for that, there is nothing else. Complete. That's been done. That's great. Uh, we have one job. Let's build this generator district. Quite weird that this planet didn't vanish. Not that I mind. Actually, quite nice that it didn't vanish. Oh, how are you doing? You are superior in each and every way. It's good. It's good. And uh, also by having the shipyard over here. If it happens that these guys are completely um, focused on whatever our ships are weak at, we can always change that. Now, ooh, ooh, we got some. F we got four amazing options. The Starhold uh, for defensive capabilities. It's absolutely great to have a. Upgraded starbase because um, it will definitely hurt their fleets a lot more. The destroyer is uh, is definitely doubling your firepower, so that's great. And you will uh, use the destroyer well into your late game. Destroyers are great when uh, equipped with anti missiles and stuff like that. Actually, the destroyer is going to be your anti missile ship eventually. That's all that it will do in your fleet. The real gun upgraded for the armors, for the uh, for the guns, absolutely fantastic. And the city housing, oh man, that's just oh, three, four, absolutely amazing options. I would love to go for real guns. Uh, definitely would love to go for real guns, but I think that would be a mistake. It will just do a few points. Then the destroyer would do a lot more. Uh, defensive capabilities, the Starhold would be fantastic, but I cannot pass the Destroyer. What if you pass the Destroyer and it will take you 
15 years until you get it again because it's RNG. We don't want that. So we're going to go with the destroyer for now. Complete. This construction ship is going to be making this mining station. We got the uh, the wormhole. We also want to make sure that this starbase is having a place for our crew to stay. Um, having this uh, this building will uh, make sure that it will cost less for your fleet. So I definitely want to do that. Then we can change this station completely to a trade hub. With you done, uh, let's go and build two shipyards on that. We don't necessarily need to do the crew quarters over there. A defensive station between these two guys. Ooh. That might be something for the future. Um, is our now superior equivalent. How far are you? Negative 20 for a research deal. Uh, fleet command limit just increased. Naval capacity plus 30. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. However, I kind of want the fleet command limit again. Uh, we have plenty stations and we still need to upgrade them. So getting the fleet command limit against a hive. Yeah, that would be very, very interesting. You're almost done with your generator district. You are done completely over here. So we're going to be sending you here to build that station. And you are going to be baking those mining stations. You are going to do excavating. Because that's what we need. Speaking of that, uh, there's a relic tab over here. Um, we can actually change. Uh, we actually We could sell these uh, for energy. We could get a Xeno attraction increase. And we have a planetary building thing. Uh, we're going to be saving these up. I don't feel like going too much into the ancient relics. So with this done, what we will do is uh, we're going to get these two. And we're going to set the home base over here. Because imminent danger is from this end. So assign to home base. Just, just send them over there. Both of them will go. Uh, we do want to upgrade you. And that will happen in this station because we are now flipping this to a tray top. And we're going to be changing this one eventually. But once we have that, uh, I don't think we will have the, um, the technology just yet because we had to skip it for something that was more useful. But eventually we'll have that. Uh, but we'll, we'll we definitely will take this trade value, we'll get this trade value. And once it doubles, it will go all the way up there. So that's being done. No need for this. So let's just hold on until we get all of this done. Let's see. We don't have the amount of alloys required. Let's get our last chip. And we'll increase this one. But we don't want to do that right now. Uh, because we are going to get the destroyers. And getting the destroyers... Would be very nice against them. But maybe I want to have a second fleet. Yeah, maybe. Complete. So this one is now done. This is going to be our shipyard, like I said. This one is going to disappear. And you'll see these two disappear as well. Uh, they are going to be collected. Construction complete. There you go. Oh, all the way up there. Oh, that is extremely nice. That is extremely nice. And, and we immediately got a small boost to our energy. Absolutely fantastic. Let's uh, probe it. All of our fleets are there. And you can see that this, this guy. These are our uh, uh, cruisers. Or actually our corvettes. And these are, this is a destroyer. Or a frigate by the looks of it. Frigate. It's a destroyer. It must be a destroyer. It's a frigate class. Hmm, okay, fine. Fine by us. It's fine. Alert con one in ah! <laughs> My friends, we're at war. Um, I'm quite grateful that we uh, placed our ships around there. We're still building up. That means we will skip the upgrading part. Um, but we have to set a war goal. And to set a war goal, we're going to be doing claims. Unfortunately, oh, we don't need to claim that. Oh, that's fantastic. Set a war goal. 
Hmm. Let's uh, contain them. And they are just uh, hungry. Can we invite attackers? No, we can't. We're not friendly with anyone else. War goal has been set. Well, it's fine. We don't need to set a war goal then. But they want to absorb us completely. Oh boy. If we manage to handle this threat, we are going to be having a great, great time. Now, a defensive pack would have been very nice, but we don't have that. So, that's somewhat unfortunate. But we'll, do, we'll deal with that later. Let's make sure that we uh, get the gene clinic up here. At the cost of consumer goods, we will generate more population. And we'll also create amenities. So, there you go. Let's start making that. Oh, this is going to be something. We're looking very much forward to this. Can we increase this fleet with Corvettes? Let's do not too many. Let's start with one. And the reason for it is sometimes it just doesn't work the way as, uh, as we hope. Let's increase this. Let's see what it will do. Let's get another Admiral. We... Weapon range plus 20. Fine. That's, that's a good one for him. That will increase their damage. Uh, we can still upgrade you. But we're going to wait until we can see their fleet. Uh, and where they will move. If they are going towards this system. We'll get our fleets into position over there as well. Under the cover of our station. Hopefully we can defeat their fleet. If we can that's going to be fantastic. So that's what we're waiting for right now. This construction ship is completely done. Uh, meaning you don't have anything. Let's send you to Bristol. Yeah, it is fine. We need to make sure that... Because the battles over here will most likely generate a lot of research for us. Because they are overwhelming. Or, uh, and superior in, uh, in technology as well. So let's just wait for this. Can we... Hmm, we could open borders, that would generate more. Migration treaty would be very nice. Shall we open borders with them? Let's do that. There you go, migration treaty. How about you? Uh, we can offer you a migration treaty, so let's do that. And uh, let's open the borders with you as well. That would make you love me. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's wait it for a second. They both accept it. Uh, we're building up alloys so we can uh, reinforce our fleets. They will. There you go. Commercial pack invitation. Let's agree. That will boost our energy. What will you do now? We can start baiting. We can actually move this fleet over there. Both of them. Now let's make sure we have them both on the control 2. So by control 2 they will go over here. They now are both part. If we press 2 they will get in there. Um, we'll attack their station first. Oh we got a research deal offer. That's great. Let's take it. Man that was a. I think that might be a good option to do so. So hopefully their fleet is not present yet. If we can take this station. By the looks of it, there is nothing here. Uh, if they are using missiles, we might have to flip our ships to... Uh, oh, here we go. Can we see? So, they have about 1.2k. That's not as much as I thought they would have. And they are using missiles. So, if we were to flip to point defense, then that would be interesting. Because they would not do as much damage to us as they would, uh, as we would do to them. Um, by the looks of it, you have two ships in there. Not yet. You're being reinforced. So, ship designs. It is time to make another corvette. Let's make the uh, point defense corvette. And auto completed for now. So, let's make it corvette. Corv. Point. Oh, actually, pick it. 
pick it. Let's uh, auto upgrade and save it. Now let's take a quick good look at their ships again. They are running two shields and one armor. Um, their shield hit points are way above their armor hit points. So doing 50% more to shield would destroy them a bit further. Now they are focusing on shields. So they're focusing on shields. So we need to have as much armor. And we want to focus on shields as well. So let's go back to ship design. Uh, we want to be... Focusing on shields. And we want to have as much armor. So now we, we did, this would be a good, good enough setup for now. Uh, we could choose to go with more armor. However, I don't think that's going to be the best of options. Now we don't have to go overboard. We don't have to change all of our ships in the fleet. We have enough fleet limit over here to make sure that this fleet is somewhat safe. Also, we now have the uh, the computer over here. There's two one ship firing rate and evasion and ship tracking. Now the tracking is 10% and the accuracy is 75. So they are tracking um, a missile or they're tracking a ship. So the tracking is quite not uh, quite low, uh, but the, sh the firing rate on this one. Mm, the cooldown is 0.5. If we take this one, it is still 0.5. It doesn't change like that. We could go for flag, but that is more against mm, like um, ships. Uh, how do you call that? Um, shuttles. So we definitely want to give the focus to the point defense on that. So we got a new ship. Can we get? Uh, we don't have an afterburner yet. Auto upgrade. Let's keep it like this. We're going to be adding this design to. Our, sh our fleets over here. So by just assigning the picket class over here. Uh, let's add 10. As for you. Uh, once you have this one. Uh, we'll increase you. But for now it's it's not going to be needed. The borders are open. We got some new trade deals. We're, all, we're actually um, we're doing quite nice. I think we are able to manage this. Uh, the stations might be a bit of a problem. But if we can get these, this is not all they have, they, they will have more. But once we take down this fleet, we could definitely start focusing on getting towards some of the systems that actually have a planet, like this one, as well as this one. Also, transports. Let's send our transports with the highest fleet. Let's assign a general, although we don't have too much money. Army upkeep negative twin. That might be quite nice actually. So let's wait by, with buying a leader until we have more energy. But I'm going to leave you at a cliffhanger. Uh, we just started the war. We didn't need to claim. We have to claim on everyone else. But this is a hive. So we probably... Okay, we'll have to claim on you. Because this is a, this is a swarm. It is a galactic threat. Ending the threat would be the best. So, we want to go over all the way. We don't necessarily want to destroy them completely. I want to have a buffer with these guys. That, that will be a problem. These guys are more of a problem than the hives, I guess. Although they are equivalent. These are, they are stronger. Interesting. Well, I, I'd say we'll have, uh, we'll have fun time soon. I hope you agree. As for now, thank you all so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.